Wiggins' defense on Luka. Jay, not just us. Steph was talking about it after the game. Okay. Wiggs is understanding the nuances of what winning basketball is and just how to key in on the little things in terms of consistent effort on defense, taking those one-on-one challenges, being aggressive on the offensive end, using his athletic ability to, to get to the rim if he needs to, confident shooting a three, being comfortable in our offense to Howard's question. So there's like a lot of different things that uh, he's understanding that this time, you know, in terms of a playoff run requires to win games and the joy that comes with that. So it's not like he's out there scoring 30 every night. It's the other things that help you win and the joy that you get out of it. Okay. Look, man. Let, let, let's calm down with Andrew Wiggins locking up Luca. Like seriously, like I, nice I job, am though. all about giving somebody a, an A grade for effort. And Wiggins gave a lot of effort. He's long as hell. I get it. He made things difficult, but Luca makes tough shots look easy. Like he just was off his game. Like that. That's not the best version that we saw last night of Luca. I think that has more to do with Luca than it has to do with Golden State's defense, right? Quick Isn't turnaround. that true about the whole team's offense, though? The Mavs were just off last night. Yeah, and I, I think that, look, the Mavs are going to be in these games, right? I, and I, I'm not taking any credit away from Golden State. They deserve a lot of credit for how they played and how Clay played in the third quarter and how they busted it open. Uh, but I, watching all these highlights and watching the game last night, I get that Andrew stayed according to detailed scouting report. You chase him. You force him to take very difficult, contested shots. That's all you can do at the end of the day. But Luka was just missing shots, man. He wasn't on his game. But let me ask you this, though, Jay. Does staying in the defensive scheme and doing what they're telling you to do, does that contribute to Luka missing those shots? It does. But because he, in game two, which will be tomorrow, right? It's tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Saturday, did they, is it tomorrow? I think it's, it's tomorrow, so, yes. Tomorrow. tomorrow. So, game tomorrow. Two, tomorrow. Friday. Yeah. So yeah. if game two, we see the same thing, but do we now start to say, well, maybe it's more Wiggins and not Luca? It's a combination of both, though. And here's what people don't, they're not going to pay attention to. So, yes, Andrew Wiggins, that length, that stuff, even though Luca was missing shots, we give Wiggins his credit for the length, the size, the effort, right? But it's also the continuity that they run on the offensive end for Golden State that takes away the legs from Luca. Like, if you watched the game last night, man, Stephen Curry was on Dodo, Dorian Finney Smith. And they didn't move Dodo at all. Steph was chilling in the corner. So Steph is getting his legs underneath him, right? And I'm like, Jason Kidd, please move Dorian Finney-Smith. Whoever Steph is guarding, make him move so you take away his legs. Vice versa, on the offensive end for Golden State, their continuity makes you move so much, you can't hide Luka. You can't hide him. He can't rest on defense because they're going to backdoor cut you. They're going to give you flareaway screens. So their offense, in addition to Wiggs' defense, is what takes talk- away from Luka's legs. Can we talk about Wiggins for a second, though? I know he gives you a very different kind of energy. You don't think of these two guys the same kind of way. But his career resurgence, because that's what I would call it in Golden State, reminds me of what they did with Iguodala. High draft Whenever pick. Whenever I say Iguodala, I can't look at you seriously. <laughs> High draft pick who was, people thought, oh, he's going to be the primary offensive option on the team that drafted him, right? And he wasn't that quite, right? It, he just wasn't cut out Definitely for that. Definitely was out of Minnesota. Yeah. Go, right. Golden State, but that's what Minnesota drafted him for. Golden State. I want Iguodala. That's right. Golden State saw what Iguodala could do. Not what he couldn't do, but what he could do and how they could use him. Same thing with Wiggins. Think of how, like, I think of Wiggins in a real different way since he got to Golden State. Kind of defense he plays. He hits the outside shot. He's athletic. Like, it's a lot, man. On a team like this, Wiggins brings a lot. He's in the perfect spot. You know, and I, and I thought about this as I was watching the game last night because I've been a big Wiggins fan ever since high school. Um, and I understand he was supposed to be the next, right, yeah. and, and all the whole deal, and it ha- didn't pan out that way. But I wouldn't necessarily call it a resurgence, Max. I just call it a perfect situation fit, yeah. and a perfect fit. That's why I was always hoping that Golden State wouldn't move him, Jay, like they were talking about when they first acquired him. Oh, they're going to move him, they're going to do this. Now it, I'm sure they're happy to have him. Yeah, not a resurgence. You're right. It's the right seeing what he can do and putting him in a position to succeed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.